Hello everyone, Callie Stormdoll here, and I'm finally joining the world of the Glow Up Girls. Now this is a new brand of dolls presented by Far Out Toys. It's six to collect. Um, the one that I have here with us today, I believe her name is Kenzie. Okay, so her name is probably Mackenzie and it is Clark Kenzie for short. So she's really, really pretty. So it looks like she comes with some some features on the side, some makeup, and some accessories. So of course with these dolls you can remove their makeup. These are the first dolls that I've come across that actually fit the Rainbow High Girls clothes comfortably. We'll be right back. All right, we are back and we have Kenzie out of her packaging and I'm just going to show you guys everything she comes with. So she comes with this little tub. It is white with the green lid on it and this is what you will put her feet into. She comes with um, glitter and gleam. It looks like it's some type of capsule that's going to dissolve. She comes with this, which is kind of like a bath bomb and I believe this has her other accessories inside of it as well she has a glow on a head kind of like a shopping bag another capsule or this is the thing you put on her face to remove her makeup yes it says Kenzie on it and then she has this little tube of makeup and this is the inside of the purse then it looks like she has a shoe box and another baggie and then right here we have Kenzie. Kenzie the doll herself is actually standing a little under 10 inches. So that's her height. Now as far as her articulation goes, she has articulation at the head, the shoulders, the elbow, the wrist. Nothing in her midsection. She does have movement at the hips. She can kick back and forth and side to side nothing in the legs but she does have feet articulation and these aren't even bend and snap legs they're just really hard now one thing i want to speak on with kinsey that i hadn't heard anyone really speak on in their reviews of these dolls is her hair quality um i didn't know this and no one really said it too much in their reviews but her hair is very dry so just be prepared for that her hair is really dry um it looks cute the little ringlets they look cute and i might comb some out to see how it looks combed out but that's what she's giving right now she's in this pajama set which is like leopard purple leopard print with butterflies and the eyeshadow has like green lime eyeshadow now in this video i may not do a lot of the chemical parts of it so so here's her first box. It says spark, a spark of style. On the paper it says glow up girls. Oh wow, and these are her boots. So these are her pink boots. Knee highs or thighs. It says glow up girl. So it has a little acronyms for it. That's really, really cute. Okay. So now we're gonna open up this one. Mm. Now this is some type of handle, maybe? Oh, it's a belt. Okay, this is a belt that goes around her waist. I wonder why they couldn't just give her a real belt and then she comes with another purse. So, so far she has two cute little bags. <clears throat> this belt is very interesting. Why wouldn't they just give her like a real belt? So this is what it will be giving. All right, and this is her shopping bag. All right, and in this one, we get the fur coat with the outfit. So this is her secondary outfit with her fur coat. Okay. So this is what she's giving straight out of the packaging. And I already can tell that her face does have something on it. Because her face, if you guys 
you will notice this is a little bit darker than her arm so i already know something's on there and you can kind of see it looks like kind of kiki so this is her before so we're gonna use this as a before look and then <clears throat> we're gonna pull out her face mask so we can do after i wish they came with stands they don't come with stands oh god So to even get the face mask, I have to put this in water. Okay. So I'm going to have to go get some cool water and drop this inside. As soon as you drop it in the water, ew, it kind of um, turns into a face mask. Ew, but it's so big. Oh, this is the one for the human. Okay, this is the human size one. To get the mask, you have to dig in between the big one to get the little one. It's very much so a mess very much so please mr ghostface don't hurt me very much so i want to be in the sequel i may have to end up using this big one as well it's a lot of gunk and gunk on her let's see is it any anywhere else no but it doesn't hurt in the days of you know quarantines and stuff for people to want to wipe things down a little bit extra so let's see how much of her face came off mm. I did have to use the big one as well, but it looks like we got most of which is good. Okay, so this is what she gives now. So after you've washed everything off, this is kind of what she gives. I'm glad I opened this. So this one that says glow and gleam, I thought it was an, another capsule. Well, it is something else. Okay, so I'm glad I opened that bag. So it looks like she has some tattoos in there. It looks like she comes with some earrings and a choker. So don't throw anything away. Now what we're going to do before we actually put Kenzie into her final look, we're going to do a fashion swap. Callie Stormdoll's fashion swappery up in this piece, okay? Because supposedly these girls supposedly these glow up dolls fit perfectly into the rainbow high girls outfits we're gonna see what this is giving as kinsey steps into the role of cheryl and then steps into the role of robin what are these colors gonna be giving there's only one way to find out we'll be right back All right, so we have Kenzie here, and she is fitting in really nicely to Cheryl's entire look. Kenzie looks really good. The jacket went on nicely, the shirt, everything looks really, really good. Even like the heels. I was surprised that the heels actually went on as well as they did. So now you can see what it looks like on Kenzie, and this is what Kenzie's outfit looks on Cheryl from Rainbow High. So now we're gonna see how Kinsey would look in Robin's outfit. We'll be right back. All right, so we are back and we have Kinsey and Robin's outfit. And it's so amazing how even down to the shoes, everything fits on so well. Like she looks really good in it. So you can see her and Robin's outfit. And then Robin has on her outfit. And her outfit looks good on Robin too. Like a nice slumber party set. But not as luxurious as this of course. But she looks good. But I'm glad that now we know a doll we can kind of swap their clothes into. So what I'm going to do now is put on Kenzie's original secondary look. We'll be right back. We have Kenzie in her full secondary look. And overall I have to say that... The look is okay, the quality is fair, 
It's just that I've seen better quality in other brands. Now, this is a beginning brand, so I'll give them that. This is their first run. Um, but, the, like, the fur jacket is thinly, you know, fluffed. The short set, why it's a good idea, these girls are supposed to be, what, teenagers? This isn't it. Like, the short set, yes, but why not put it in colors we would actually wear today? The choker isn't bad, but it's a miss when you add it with these earrings. Sorry, guys, this is just what I do. You know, I work as a social media manager, so... This is a lot of stuff I look at, the colors, the aesthetics, the designs. The boots are not bad. The boots are one of the highlights, but connect it with something we may actually want to wear. I, I don't want to wear this. I don't want to wear this. I don't want to wear this. Um, and Kenzie is nothing against you as a doll, but I'm glad that I did just get one because originally I was going to order three of these when I saw that they were back in stock at Target for $19.99 because some people, of course, scalpers online were trying to sell these for hundreds of dollars. So I was like, well, let me just check one out and it's nothing wrong with my home girl, but $19.99 is a way better deal than if I was, had to pay $100 for her. And overall, not that I'm disappointed, but just that, you know, mm, the quality is fair and the doll is fair. That's all I can say, really. I mean, not to say that it's bad or anything like that, but fair is just, you know, what it is. So, I wanna thank you guys for watching today. If you're new to my channel, simply subscribe. Always leave me a comment below. And remember this, I will see you on my next video.